Hey guys, Aiden here from Core Electronics, and today we're going to take a look at the Little Bits Royal Room Kit. We're going to do a review over the kit, we're going to take a look at what's inside the kit, and most importantly, we're going to let you guys know whether it's worth it, whether we like the kit. So let's not stop there, let's keep going. What we're going to do is take a deeper look at the kit. So I'm going to pull this one out of its box now, and we'll see what we get. So just so you know, Little Bits has actually received multiple awards for this kit. A lot of people all around the world really love it and they've called it one of the best tech toys of 2016. So let's see why. Now the Little Bits Rule Your Room kit comes with this invention guide. This is a 76 page invention guide that's loaded with information and it has I think four projects that you can make right out of the box. Not to mention, if you grab the Little Bits Invention app, you can also get recommended projects and challenges from Little Bits all the time based on what other people around the world have been making. So, this particular kit comes with seven bits and a handful of accessories. So, let's take a look at the bits one by one. So, if you know anything about Little Bits, you'll know that they're small magnetic building blocks for circuitry and electronics. We've got an entire kit here. Like I said, I've got a blue bit in my hand. Now a blue bit is a power bit and it's simply powered by a nine volt battery. So you get the battery snap here and you get your nine volt battery. So you can connect the nine volt battery up to the bit quite easily, just like that. And you've got a little on off switch which can control your circuit. So the idea behind Little Bits, like I said, is they're small magnetic building blocks for circuitry. And it's one of the best ways that I've personally seen kids can get interested in electronics. Now we run workshops here at um, Core Electronics in our knowledge factory, Little Bits workshops especially, and kids love, I mean absolutely love playing with this kit. Now the main reason for that is, and I'll show you now, this is the centerpiece kit of the bit, and it's the Makey Makey bit. Now if you haven't heard of Makey Makey, jump onto our website and have a look at some of the tutorials that Sam's done, and he really covers off on what Makey Makey is, and he shows you some cool things that you can make with it. Little Bits have done the same thing. Now they've shrunk down the original Makey Makey board, and they've put it onto a bit, and this is it here. So the Makey Makey bit that you can see here actually has three different inputs that you can control, and a micro USB cable so you can connect that up to your computer, and essentially, these are keystrokes on a keypad. You can use some of the included alligator clips to connect up to anything that's conductive in the world around you and control either your computer or your little bits invention using some pretty much made up switches. So that's the centerpiece bit of this kit. Now every single invention in this kit, you get four guided projects, which Little Bits has completely illustrated and documented on how you can put that together. Really, really good for someone that's just starting out with STEM education. They can pick this kit up and pretty much start from the beginning, go all the way through. After you've guided projects, you get some challenges. In this particular kit, the guided challenge is making a kitchen invention. So children are then challenged to come up with a completely new idea on an invention that can help them out in the kitchen, which is really cool. So that's the makey makey bit. Like I said, it's pretty easy. It's also got a switch here, so you can change the middle button's output to be, or control of whichever keystroke it is, to be a space or a click. So the space bar on your um, computer or the click of a mouse, so the left click of a mouse. Very cool bit, very impressed with this bit. Um, after that, we've got some of the typical bits that you see in a little bits kit. So I've got two here, and they're both pink bits. So pink is input and one side here, I've got a dimmer, which is just a potentiometer that controls your circuit um, power level, which is really easy to use. You just put that right after your power bit and away you go. And I've got a sound trigger. So this is a small like microphone um, bit. And it's also got a little sensitivity um, switch here that you can, you can adjust with one of your accessories. So you get a small plastic uh, purple screwdriver and you can just turn this little wheel to the left or right to increase or decrease the sensitivity. This is really cool for sound activated inventions like a, a clapping um, buzzer or a clapping lamp or something and you can activate it with sound. That's really cool. Um, speaking of buzzers, we've got some output bits now. So remember I said seven, uh, seven bits in total in this kit. So the last three bits are all output bits. Now this one's a buzzer and this one's a very, very noisy buzzer. Um, it's pretty simple. I'll show you guys how it works. You just connect it straight up to power. You just make sure that your bit is oriented the right way. The buzzer bit's not the perfect one to show it with, but every other bit has some arrows along the top which dictate the direction that you should be joining the bits. So you just connect these ones up like this and a 
that's it, that's a buzzer. So like I said, um, you can connect bits in sequence to make your invention work. If I connect that bit there, I grab out some alligator clips, which I've got here, and I can make a, a really simple switch. Oh, I've got some copper tape in there from one of our inventions the other day. All right, so right now the buzz is not doing anything, but when I connect these two cables up with my makey makey bit, what will happen is we'll allow the current to flow through and the buzzer will drive. So it's really as easy as that. I'm sure that you can imagine you can connect anything that's conductive up to these um, makey makey bits or the makey makey itself and it will work just like that. So that's another one of the bits that you get. You also get a small servo. Now you get some accessories to go along with your servo, not just the servo. If you haven't seen or know what a servo is, again, we've got some tutorials available on our website, coreelectronics.com.au, and they cover over what a servo is, how it works, and how you can control it. But you don't need to worry about too much of that today because Little Bits has pretty much covered the whole lot. All you need to do is connect that one up in line with your power bit, and you can control the servo in one of two ways. So you can control it using a swing mode, which will just swing from the start to the end con continuously. So it'll go from start to end to start to end, or you can turn it on to turn mode, in which case you can control it using one of your input bits. So for example, this small potentiometer would control the position of the servo. Another cool invention from Little Bits, we've got the servo mount. So this enables you to fix your servo to an invention so you can clip your servo into that little gap you get a couple of screws that come with your servo which just screw in using a small phillips head screwdriver and yeah you can just pretty much clip that in attach it to an invention and you can have movement in your invention essentially uh, they also give you this particular collection of accessories so this is the the movement arm and the servo hub so this can just go straight on to your servo and we've seen some cool inventions made with that, just that and a couple of, a bit of arts and crafts. So another good addition to a, a basic uh, kit from this is. And finally, everyone's favorite, the bar graph bit, really simple to use. It's got five LEDs along the front and you can just increase the power level and it will increase how many LEDs are on. So it's really good for projects that glow and what have you. Um, we've got a few more accessories. So we've got a couple more servo accessories that just come with your kit, which is always good to have. Now, we also have the mounting board. Now this is pretty much the basic idea behind all your inventions is you don't wanna, you'll prototype your inventions on the desktop just like this, but then it comes to a point where you wanna fix your invention to a board, essentially like a circuit board. Now the original makey, uh, the original, sorry, the original little bits uh, mounting board actually, which is this one here, actually had a lot of problems doing that. Um, little bits put out guides and everything on how to just how to clip your invention into a mounting board. So that's the opposite of sort of what you want when you're buying a kit for a, a small kid to be able to play with at home. Uh, I know that in the workshops that we run, we were having a lot of difficulties because there was a few kids out there that just didn't have the strength to push it in. And after five minutes of trying, it would just pop out. So little bits have done everyone a really good uh, favor there and included the new design of their mounting board. So you can see the difference there. It's completely see-through. And the real difference is just plugging your invention in. It's super easy now. So that is a welcome addition to this kit. You also get two of them in the Rule Your Room kit. So it's nice to know. Point that one over to the side. Now you get a USB cable. Remember I was talking about the Makey Makey bit connecting to your computer. There's an invention in the guide about connecting up to your computer and this is how you'll do it. So you'll use that little micro USB cable. There's nothing special about that one. It's just a micro USB cable. Um, you've got four alligator clips like we showed you before, and therefore you're making make a bit. It's cool. You've got the battery and the battery snap. We've already looked at. We've got some adhesive feet. Now, I should call them shoes because they're for the feet. So your inventions have the top side, which is everything we've been looking at. If you flip them over, you get a small semicircle forming from two quarter circles on the feet of your invention. Now these little shoes can just clip onto those feet and it takes away from your mounting board in a way, but it also allows you to mount your invention to things. So for example, this one here has a small piece of double-sided tape on it. When you peel that red cover off, 
you can then stick that invention to something, which is really cool. And it holds it all together, which if you've ever used little bits or you've seen someone use it, one of the biggest problems that I see is when people pick up their invention after they've made it and it all falls apart. So that's an awesome addition. Uh, we've got some cardboard templates, which are for the inventions, the guided inventions in the kit. It's awesome to have. More alligator clips and yeah, so more um, feet. There's also some Velcro feet, which are really cool. You can get some Velcro tape. So the soft Velcro tape along with these hard-sided Velcro feet and you can clip your inventions to things again. So that's everything that we get in our Little Bits for Your Room kit. Let's take a look at the guide a bit more in depth with the guide because I think this is uh, a massive part of the reason that you would buy a Little Bits kit. Um, so let's just have a quick flick through what we get with our Little Bits guide. So with every Little Bits guide, you get the Little Bits basics. And that goes through the anatomy of a bit, the color-coded um, index of your bit. So blue, pink, green, and orange, and what they all mean. And then we go through the magnets, how the magnets work, including the arrows on the top. Um, that's a really good and intuitive way for children to learn about the magnetic, uh, the, sorry, the flow of electricity. And we've also got the order is important section, which is telling you that if you don't have output bits in your circuit, it's gonna be very difficult to see anything happening, which is a good point. Um, we then step on to the Little Bits Invent app. Uh, that's something that's really cool that Little Bits has brought out um, recently. It's a free app available on iOS and Android devices so on the Google Store, and you can essentially sign into your Little Bits account, and through that, you can add your kit to your uh, bit collection, and then it will give you recommended projects and um, challenges that you can attempt with your kit. At the end of your inventions, which we'll see in a second, there is a share um, section where you can share your invention with the Little Bits community and the Little Bits Invent app makes that super easy to do. All right, so now we've got the meet the, bit, meet the bit section. So we meet the bit, for example, the power bit. It tells you that every circuit starts with power, providing the juice that makes your bit spin, buzz, blink, and shine. It then tells you how the bit works, shows you a sample circuit, and gives you a real world analogy. If you were to go through every single bit and accessory um, you know, with a fine tooth comb, you would have a pretty good idea of everything you could do with your bits. <sighs> Following that point, we have a Little Bits invention cycle. Now, that's a cool thing that Little Bits do. They've always done it. It's a really good way to teach children Little Bits and students Little Bits. So the idea is that you create something, so you just put it together on the desk, uh, then you play with it. So you see if it's doing what you, what you wanted it to do, and you find the strengths and weaknesses of your invention out. You then remix it, so if there's anything that you want to add or change about your invention, that's when you do it. You do that until you're happy, essentially. Once you've remixed it enough, you'll be happy with your invention, you can share it with the community, and it's simply awesome. We've got the icon index, which is pretty much related to um, the projects. And then we've got a quick section on conductors versus insulators, so that's a really um, simple explanation of the difference between a conductor and an insulator, and it relates directly to the makey-makey bit, so it's important to know that stuff. We've got a few examples of good conductors, and then we move on to our projects. So just taking a look at a sample project, it gives you an idea of what the project will look like when it's complete. And then it takes you through the create section all the way through with really nice illustrations. Then you get to play with your bit. It gives you a quick section on how that is actually working as an invention. And then you can remix it and share it on the Little Bits app. That's a simple idea behind all four projects in the book. And like I said, after all those projects are complete, we get a Inventor Kitchen Contraption um, Challenge. Let's move all these bits out of the way for now. Like I said, you get to start playing with your bits on your own. So they give you some ideas of um, inventions you could possibly create. And then you're free to make something completely on your own. And you follow that Little Bits Invention Cycle all over again. They give you an idea of getting more inventions from your kit. You can just go into that Little Bits app like we talked about, then a glossary of all the terms that we use in the guide, and some troubleshooting steps, which is really good. So what I've found is that this is one of um, the favorite kits from Little Bits. Kids love making like pressure sensors and stuff like that. We use it in the workshop, like I've said before, and it's just a super um, in-depth kit, and kids really love playing with it and remixing their inventions, especially sharing it with everyone, what they've made, because not every kit has that makey-makey bit. So it's, some of the inventions are really special. If you were looking to buy a kit, maybe for a kid at home or for a niece or a nephew, this would be a great pickup because 
It's all contained in the kit. The kid can pick it up, run into their room, and in no time at all, they'll be making all sorts of inventions, and it'll be really cool to have. Um, if you're looking for like a, a classroom kit or something, maybe steer away from the Rule Your Room kit, because it only comes with seven bits, and that's because it's more targeted for someone that's gonna be playing at home. So I hope this has really educated you guys on what the Rule Your Room kit is, and why you would use it, and all the value that you get with it, because obviously we've been through all that sort of stuff. Um, if you want any more information on Little Bits or the Rule Your Room kit, feel free to get in touch with us or leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.